What's going on everybody? Thank you for stopping by to my channel. Souls and Laces back with another video and for today's video we have another sneaker pickup of another Yeezy 350 as you can already tell from the box. So let's get right into it. So we've seen this box so many times. It's a standard Yeezy box with the 350 on the top and the boost on the side. So let's just get right into the box label. So your box label reads Yeezy Boost 350 V2. This is a size eight and a half and the colorway reads Onyx all across. And um, so one small difference with Yeezy 350 now, um, it would say, before you would say Yeezy Boost 350 as you can see over there, it spells it out Yeezy. And in this case, they just have YZY and then V2. As you can see right there, it doesn't have the V2. So that's just a little difference for anybody wondering. Size eight and a half. So in terms of sizing, I would recommend you guys go at least half a size. In my case, I wear a seven and a half and an eight, and I just went up, I guess, a full size because I'm typically a size seven and a half with most sneakers. So a full size for me, wide foot. And um, so I would recommend at least half a size. But if you're someone like me with a wide foot, I would say at least a full size. So that's just that's just me. Um, but yeah, let's just get right into the sneaker. <laughs> All right, here we go with the sneakers out the box. So this is the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 in your Onyx colorway. So right off the bat, this time around, we got a Yeezy that doesn't look grayish, whereas we've gotten Onyx um, colorways and other sneakers like the 380s where it's not really like a, a blacked out sneaker. It does have like hues of like gray and other like colors that just doesn't look black. But in this case, we got the Onyx color for the 350s and they're looking pretty black to me. So that's a good thing. Um, there's not much really going on with these as you guys can tell. It's just a one colored sneaker all around. We've seen these so many times, so I'm not gonna spend too much time talking about it. But one thing I do wanna mention that I forgot, um, retail price for these was 230 and that's a $10 price hike from what we typically buy Yeezys at. Normally they would be like 220. I think earlier this year some of these were 220, and now they just decided to change the retail to 230, which makes no sense because there is no explanation behind why we got that 230 retail now. But um, very confusing times with these sneakers. But anyways, let's just jump right into the sneakers. So as I said, it's pretty much an old dark night black um, sneaker, and. I'm actually excited that we finally got a black Yeezy because um, when the when the black reflective pair came out, I got those and when I saw them in person, it was like a dark gray, which was not too much of a fan of because I'm like, this is not what I wanted and it's not what I expected. So I sold them and then, you know, Adidas finally releasing the all blacked out 350. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going to have to get these now because... They're much better in person. I like them. Like, it's all black belts. So as you guys can see, black laces. You got this stripe right here that's kind of looks grayish, which I kind of don't mind. Like, it looks great. But for some reason, it reminds me of that character Smoke from Mortal Kombat. It got like black. He got like black and like gray. And I think that's the perfect color to kind of compare it to. Um. So like I said. Everything's blacked out. You got this stripe right here that looks almost reflective and it just looks good. You got that midsole right there in your black. And you see that white behind there? That's that boost peeking through. Full of boost. Right here down to the down to the laces, the toe box, everything is black. And one good thing also about these is that we got the pull tab on them. And I'm a fan of the pull tab when it comes to the 350s because when they have a 350 that doesn't include the pull tab, like, it kind of just kills it for me. Like, I mean, they look good without it, don't get me wrong, but they look much better with that pull tab on it. Here's a look at the medial side. So one difference about um, about these 350s right here and your other typical um, 350s is that on the medial side and like on the inner parts, like on this section right here, they have like this material where it's not the same as right here. So as you guys can see, it's like, it's like a flat color. And right here, this knit, you got that pattern. So this pattern right here and this material right here 
it's kind of like um, the material is not really stretchy. So right here, around where it kind of hugs your foot the tightest, they included this material that's kind of more stretchy. So even though that they included this for on these on these Yeezys, I would say you should still go up at least half a size. I don't think it does too much on the sizing because I did try on a left pair and it still feels like I want to say snug, but it still fits like the 350 like the other 350s for me. So I personally would just say still go up half a size, even maybe a full size if you're wide for like me. Um, but it doesn't change much. So that's one small difference with the 350s that we got um, recently. Um, even the white pair. The white pair is just like this with this material right here. So that's one thing to just keep, you know, keep a, keep a note on that. But um, so yeah, you got the pull tab and that's pretty much it. Like we're going to take a look at the outsoles, but nothing really different with these you still got that boost right here got your boost branding same old you've seen it once you've seen it twice you've seen it a thousand times but um so i do have these other 350s in my collection that have like black on it or use black for the color like an actual black so i'm gonna get those and we'll continue from there so be right back So these are all Yeezys that have, you know, that they use the actual color like black, like dark black, none of that like onyx gray. So I was really surprised, you know, when we got, I'm just get the pair right here. When we got these right here and it's actually black, like it doesn't look too grayish. Like I know that stripe right here looks kind of grayish, but honestly to me, like they look great. Like in comparisons to all of them right here like yes this one is a bit more lighter than the breads and it is a bit more lighter than the dazzling blues now that I see them side by side but honestly like no one will really notice unless you have them side by side like this so I think it's a very great easy all blacked out so as I was saying about the color I'm glad that Adidas finally gave us like a Yeezy that has pretty much an all black color to it, like a dark night black to it. Well, not really dark black as I showed you guys in comparison to the breads or the dazzling blues. Like you do see that different hues of black. It's not like extremely dark black, but you're not going to notice unless you have both sneakers side by side. So this is definitely like a great sneaker to wear every day, perfect for the summer, even better for the fall. And I'm really ex like I'm really glad that they finally gave us a Yeezy that's all like blacked out because it's something that I personally just wanted for a while and that's the only reason I basically bought the breads or the dazzling blues because they have that black but they have it with a mixture of a different color like the red or the blue um, but in this case like even though it does have like this stripe right here it doesn't come in a different color even though it somewhat looks like it and it looks like almost reflective but it's not like a different color that they added to this so that's gonna be pretty much it for these it's a simple colorway but i'm finally glad that we got a 350 in an all black pair so let me know your thoughts on these did you guys cop or did you guys pass i might even double up because i might just sell my breads and the mx rock pair and just have these right here yeah let me know your thoughts on these thank you guys for watching and until next time i'll see you then peace